We love the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and if you don't at this point, then you don't know what you're missing. Today we're going to be talking about the Secret Warriors because that seems to be the team that Daisy is trying to make with the Inhumans. The Secret Warriors are a team of superhumans that was put together by Nick Fury after he was removed as the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. He found out that the Skrull had been putting sleeper agents on Earth and he needed a team to help fight them. He decided that it would be best to get obscure heroes because that way they would be the least likely to be targeted by the Skrulls. So he put together his own amazing team. Their leader was none other than Quake, aka Daisy Johnson, who has the same powers as Daisy in the show. The other members were the son of Ares, Alexander Aaron, who had the power to instill fear into others and has the codename Phobos, Yo-Yo Rodriguez, or Slingshot, the daughter of Griffin. She has the power of superhuman speed and the ability to bounce back to the point where she began running. JT Slade is the grandson of the Phantom Rider, and he has the ability to charge items with fire and use them for devastating attacks. He likes to use chains charged with fire and has the codename Hellfire. Jerry Sledge, or Stonewall, has the ability to grow in size and has a superhuman strength as well as his skin taking on the appearance of something that resembles stone. Eden Fessy, or Manifold, who has the ability of reality warping. And finally, the last member was Sebastian Druid, codenamed Druid, who has mythical powers. Once the team was formed, they were put to test during the Secret Invasion story arc. They were thrown into the battle as soon as the Skrull began their invasion of Earth in Manhattan. The Secret Warriors arrived to help save the Young Avengers and the Initiative from being killed by the Skrulls. With their combined efforts, they were able to take out some of the Super Skrulls, but they couldn't kill them fast enough for it to matter. Luckily for the team, they saw Thor's lightning in the middle of Central Park, and all of the teams, including the Young Avengers, Muddy Avengers, and New Avengers, were able to repel the Skrull invasion and save Earth. This fight, however, was a warm-up for the team because their biggest battle came during the Dark Reign story arc when Fury and the Secret Warriors discovered that S.H.I.E.L.D. had been taken over by Hydra ever since the very beginning. In their first battle with Hydra, the team went to the Red Worm facility, which was being used as a PsyOps facility. They tried to beat Hydra there, but they were just a little too late, and they found that Kraken and Forgun were already there personally overseeing the facility's evacuation. Daisy wanted to stop them and made the mistake of ordering her team to move in. Kraken then escaped with the telepaths and Gorgon stayed to fight the team off. Yo-Yo ended up getting both of her hands chopped off and forced the team to retreat. Nick Fury teamed up with the Howling Commandos to raid the dock and this was a shield base that held the helicarriers. Hydra was ready for them however and they were on the losing side. Luckily Team White showed up which is another name for Daisy's team and they ended up making the raid on the docks a success. This led to the discovery by Team White that they weren't Nick Fury's only team, and he had others such as Team Black, Team Grey, but Team White was Fury's main team. For those wondering, Team Black was run by Alexander Pierce and tasked with watching Hydra, and Team Grey was led by Nick Fury's son, Mikkel, and they were tasked with looking out for Leviathan. Team White was meant to be Nick Fury's fist. Well, Norman Osborn attacked Asgard and Steve Rogers calls in for help, and Fury and Daisy's team headed off there to assist him. They worked with the New Avengers and the Young Avengers to help fight off Osborn's attack on Asgard, and with their combined forces they were able to save Asgard by putting an end to the Dark Reign. But Fury wasn't done with his war yet, and he went back to his secret war with Hydra and Leviathan. Fury's next move was an attack on Hydra's base in China known as Hell's Heaven. Team Black and two helicarriers full of Howling Commandos made their way to China. Team Black and a smaller ground group of commandos were able to make their way into the base and they planted a bomb right at the heart of Hell's Heaven. All of the teams then made their way back to the helicarriers and the base was destroyed. Team Black took a small aircraft to head off to their next mission. The helicarriers weren't as lucky however as Gorgon led a force to intercept them and he managed to shoot one down. The other didn't want to abandon them and they turned around to fight only to get gunned down as well. This was the true start to Nick Fury's secret war. He lost the Howling Commandos and Hydra's next target was Team White. With Leviathan assaulting a Hydra training facility in Seattle, Fury decided that now was the time to attack them both, and Team Black and Team Grey went after Leviathan's last two bases. Fury and Team White went to the heart of it all, with Hydra's base Gena their principal base. The mission was simple and it would only take a minute to execute. Eden was to teleport the team in to plant the bomb and then teleport them out. But Hydra was ready though, and Eden got injured and couldn't get the team out. So they fought their way out and Fury and Phobos got separated from the team when the bridge collapsed. Fury shot a line for them to cross, but Phobos told Fury to go and he would fight Gorgon alone. Ultimately, Phobos died at Gorgon's hands because that's how it was supposed to be, and the team managed to escape the base before the bomb went off. Fury and Hellfire ended up fighting off Hydra together until the bomb went off. 
and then Fury discovered that it was Hellfire who tipped Hydra off, so he let Hellfire fall to his death. After this battle, Fury disbands Team White, and S.H.I.E.L.D. ends up restarting by the UN, and Daisy Johnson was chosen to be the first director. So with Daisy trying to form her team in the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., does this mean that we're going to get to see some of the Secret Warriors members? Seeing as they already know about Hydra's takeover of S.H.I.E.L.D., and the Skrull invasion is already kind of happening in Avengers, possibly, what other fights will we see them take on? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below.